Hey everyone, bow hunting redneck here. Uh, just going to do a quick review on the HCV 770 Panasonic. Just got this uh, delivered to me. Excited about opening it up. So uh, come along with me as I open up. Before we start though, there's uh, something that's probably the most important thing that you'll ever hear in your life. If you want to hear it, click right here and you can get to it pretty quick and then come back here for the review. It's actually more important than this review. But for those of you that want to see this review, let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to open this up. Um, I've actually got, uh, have been fiddling around with a uh, HCV 750. And this is a 770 I just got in the mail. So let's take a look here. Of course, you got your uh, camera here. The, the one thing that surprises me most about this uh, particular camera, because it's almost exactly the same as the 750, the 770 replaced the, the 750 model. It is it's exact same thing. The features actually look exactly alike. I'm going to take a look at and compare the two cameras to see uh, for those of you that are thinking about a good camera to buy, especially for bow hunting in low light situations. This is actually a great camera. I've been doing a lot of reading on it. And like I said, I have the 750. So this is a camera, basic camera. It's a consumer level camera, not a prosumer. Then you have your um, owner's manual. I always like to uh, get the owner's manual and download it from the internet so I have it electronically on my iPad. Uh, got next here. What do we got next in here? Let's pull this. Not sure how to get that out. Uh, looks like you got HDMI cord. Comes with it. The um, this is actually the USB. You can hook USB up to here. It looks exactly the same, like I said, as the 750. And then we have uh, this charger cable. It'll either plug into your computer, because this looks like it's exactly like the 750, like I said. This will plug into your computer or um, into uh, the wall with this one here. So I think it's about 6 volts or something like that. I can't remember exactly how many volts that is. I'll get this out of the way. And then last couple of items is going to be our docking station that goes on the back of this camera. It actually fits like this. It's exactly like the 750 and locks in there. And then right here is the shoe adapter release. So if you need to release that, you can use two hands to take that out. So that's a quick unboxing of the, of the 770 interested in getting out there and checking it. Now I did a comparison between the uh, 750 and 770. I was looking online at some of that and I'm going to do a review between uh, comparing the two cameras and which one you ought to buy because I know when I was looking uh, for which one to buy um, actually I couldn't really tell any difference uh, but I did see a difference in price in a lot of situations sometimes a hundred dollars so uh, I'll, I'll do that in another video. So that's a quick unboxing. If you're, if you're looking to get this camera, it's actually the 750 is a great camera. It, the, the lighting on a low light situation is actually pretty awesome. And I'll do a comparison of that uh, with the 7, 750 and 770 in low light conditions. Since I particularly use these for bow hunting. So I uh, hope you enjoy that unpacking. I'm looking forward to, to working with some of this stuff. And, in the next few days and, and I'll, I'll post another video after I get some of that together. So, all right, hope you enjoyed that unpacking. Uh, we'll see you this hunting season on YouTube.